great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. Like the Most High, Satan have leaders and disciples that carry out his plans. Today we are going to focus on the Christian pastors. The Bible says Satan has deceived the whole world. In what ways have Satan deceived the whole world? Satan has several ways. The most effective is through religion. Many Christians believe they are serving the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. Unfortunately, they have been deceived to believe they are serving the God of Israel. In order for one to be deceived, they have to accept a lie for the truth. The Christian faith is based solely on belief. Christians are easily deceived through their acceptance of things they know nothing about. A popular Christian lie proclaimed by your leaders, the Christian pastors, is the laws are fulfilled, they are done away. They use the scripture to make you believe the rest of the laws are fulfilled. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. If you can love the Most High with all your heart, and if you can love your neighbors, the world would be a better place to live. Jesus did not dismiss the rest of the commandments in that verse. He simply stated the greatest of them all. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. Yeshua said, If you love me, keep my commandments. Yah gave his people ten commandments. The church only recognized two. Recognizing two out of the ten is false teaching. How can Yah create a universe and not have laws for his people to follow? If Yah dismiss his laws, why is he coming back with wrath to destroy the wicked? Satan's pastors will continue the lie every Sunday, proclaiming Jesus came to fulfill the laws so we do not have to suffer the burden of the laws. The Most High referred to anyone who disobey his laws as wicked. Yah proclaim a harsh judgment on those who disobey his laws. Sin is disobeying Yah's laws, which is wickedness. If you believe Yah is coming to judge the world for wickedness, and you have a leader proclaiming God's laws are done away with, that should ring the alarm in your minds. Something is wrong. The very faith you believe in is telling you not to keep God's laws, yet the Most High is coming to destroy the wicked, the wrongdoers who do not keep his laws. How could you pledge your alliance to this religious faith? That is the greatest deceit of all time. Yah said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If the wicked control the earth, then our leaders who run the world are wicked. We select the leaders we have over us, the representatives who represent us in our government, the president we vote for, and the religious leaders you set over yourselves when you join their church. The lawmakers in the army, all those positions has a significant leadership responsibility. What these people decide can affect you and me. It is important we choose wisely whom we appoint over us. Your leaders do not say the man-made laws in the land you live in are done away with. They encourage you to follow those laws. However, when it comes to the supreme ruler of the universe, they state you do not have to abide by God's laws. Those laws was for the Old Testament Israelites. You are New Testament saints. Satan in the garden convinced Eve to eat from the tree of good and evil by articulating half-truth. Because she listened to Satan, Adam and Eve cast out of the garden and lost the good life Yah had in store for them. Today, you have your pastors proclaiming Yah's laws are done away. All you have to do is believe in Jesus and you will have eternal life. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? The young man asked, what must he do to gain eternal life? Yeshua said, Keep my commandments. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Yeshua said to him to remember the commandments. Not only must he follow the commandments, he has to follow Yeshua to gain eternal life. 
Your pastors say, believe in Jesus and you will gain eternal life. That is a half truth. You do not want to wait until Yahshua return to find out if Yah's laws are fulfilled. By then it will be too late. The Bible clearly tell you the wicked would not enter the kingdom of Yah. Most of your religious pastors are self-appointed. If they are a pastor for the Christian church, Yah did not ordain them to teach Yah's word. Most of these preachers went to a worldly school, seminary school, to learn about the Bible. They treat the pastor position just like any career in the world. The world's way is to go to school, get an education, and get a job in the field you study. The Most High have a way of doing things. His ways are not like the world's ways. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. If the Most High ordain you to pastor his people, he will train you. Yah will give you the spirit of truth to help you. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. The Spirit of Truth is the one to teach you Yah's truth and tell you what to say to Yah's people. At that time you'll be given what to say. For it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. The Most High is not going to send your leaders to a Gentile school to learn about his laws, statutes, and commandments. The Most High did not reveal his laws to the Gentiles. He gave his laws to the Israelites. That is why the Israelites are a royal priesthood. If the Gentiles want to know the God of Israel, they must learn from an Israelite ordained by Yah. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High. Why would he send his ordained leaders to the world to learn his ways? For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. Satan's pastors always preach on three popular sermons, tithes and offerings, trials and blessings. They never teach their congregation on sermons that will help them. Christians are lost and do not have a proper understanding of the Bible. Notice the Christian belief always correspond with the world. The pastor's sermon comes from the God of this world, Satan. They believe God is a God to all, salvation is for all, and we are all one people. That is the world's belief. Do you notice how money is a popular teaching in the church? Did you know money is a God? The Most High said you cannot serve Him and money. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The pastors are serving money and they encourage you to do the same. Your pastor's next favorite sermon is trials and persecution. They know you can relate to this because everyone goes through trials of some sort. What your wicked leaders do is play with your emotions, get you emotionally stressed. By reminding you of the hardship in your lives, once they perceive you become hopeless in your situations, that is when they save the best for last. You have a blessing with your name on it. It's coming your way. All you have to do is believe. Somehow that blessing always seems to miss you. I guess you did not believe hard enough. If the Spirit of Truth was the one to give your pastor a sermon, the first thing the Spirit of Truth would address is sin, God laws, Sunday worship, and idolatry. You must worship the Most High in the Spirit and in the truth. The truth is not being taught in the Christian churches. Whether you're in the Protestant Church or the Roman Catholic Church, your pastors speak on half-truth, just like their God, Satan. The Most High said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. In my area, I can drive down one street and spot over ten different churches. If all the churches in America were for God, they would not be as weak as they are in these last days. The spirit of homosexuality tested the Christian faith, and it prevailed against it. Certainly the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob do not dwell in those churches. The Most High said he would build his church, and the gate of hell would not prevail against it. And I say also unto thee, that thou art beaten upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Obviously sin is prevailing in the church, and you are serving a foreign God. If the God of Israel was the Christian God, there is no way the spirit of homosexuality would prevail in the temple of Yah. That spirit would not be able to stand in the presence of Yah. Even the demons respect the Most High. You believe that there is one God? Good. 
Even the demons believe that and shudder. They would flee because they would not be able to tolerate the word of Yah. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. If your pastors study the Bible and seek the Most High with a pure heart, they would discover the gospel they are proclaiming is not of the Most High, but of the God of this world, Satan. The Most High would reveal the truth to them, and they would make the necessary changes to humble themselves before the Most High. In addition, correct everything that is wrong with the church. Starting with Sunday worship, letting the people know who they are, a great leader would have your best interest at heart, give you guidance on how to seek a relationship with the Most High. Because they are leaders for Satan, they will deceive you just as their master have deceived them and the world. Black people, it is time you make better decision on whom you appoint over yourselves. Let Yah be your leader instead of men.